Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 132. I want to show you a few more tricks in uh, adding charts to dashboards. Last time we used Move Chart to get this chart onto our dashboard. We used the camera to get this chart. Remember when we did Move Chart, what it did was, let's see, that was Pi of Pi. We moved it off of the chart where the data was. And if you're done with the chart, you're never going to play with the chart again. It's exactly the way you want it. That's fine. Well, what if I want a chart like this one where, you know, I'm not sure I'm quite done with it. I want to tweak it a little more. I want to see a copy on my chart page with the data, and I want to see a copy over on the dashboard. Well, you can do that. You can take this chart and copy. We'll go over the dashboard, put it over here and paste. And now, let's scroll down so you can see it. If I were to change the data, it's reflected in the copy, and it's reflected over here in this copy. So if you're never going to change the chart again, you can always move it like we did here. If you're going to tweak the chart, you want to keep a copy, you can uh, keep a copy of it over here, and then you can play with it here and have the changes automatically reflect. On the dashboard camera side of things, remember this time we uh, took just a picture of it, and as we changed things, the picture updated. What if for some reason you wanted to keep historical information? You say, this is what it looked like last month, now I want to show you what it looks like this month, and you want one camera to update, and the other one not to. So you can see changes historically. There may be some reason that you don't want this information to update when this chart changes. So what we can do is we're going to take this chart here and copy it. And I'm going to come down here. And when I paste it, let's go to Paste Special and paste it as a JPEG. So what I have here is my actual linked chart here, let's just pull this on top, is a picture that's not linked. And let's see if we can prove that over here at Explode. Let's take this, oh, we've got it all highlighted for us. We're going to go to make that this orange color. So remember, in the live data, it should be orange. In the picture, it's yellow. And so if you ever want to keep historical data, there is a way to, if you copy what the camera does and then paste it, the paste doesn't update like the copy does, and you can keep historical data on your dashboard as well. A couple of more tricks to make dashboards work, and stay tuned next time. I want to show you a comprehensive example of a bunch of different things we've talked about in these charting videos. See you then.